Class pets can teach many science standards in many science courses. However, safety must be considered before bringing any animal into the classroom. In the Science Safety Resources section, there's an excellent guide produced by the Public Health Department in Columbus, Ohio. Please be sure to resolve the following issues before introducing animals into your classroom. First of all, check suitability. Consider whether the species or particular animal is suitable to live in your classroom. This is by no means an exhaustive list, but for example, you need to consider, is it an aggressive species? Is it nocturnal? Does it make a lot of noise? Do you have any students who are truly afraid of this kind of animal, such that it would cause undue stress or distraction in your room? What's the possibility and what are the potential consequences if the animal escapes? Can it withstand being left in the classroom over the weekend, or a long weekend, or over a break? Or do you have some kind of plans to take it home? What happens if the animal gets sick or hurt? How will it get to a vet, and how will the services be paid for? Another thing to consider is domestication. You need to be sure you're not introducing wild animals into a classroom setting. Wild animals can carry disease, and often they will protect themselves from perceived threats, sometimes quite aggressively. Another important consideration is supervision. You'll likely have curious students, and it's also likely that at some point, students will access the animal when you're not directly supervising them. One essential consideration is the health and well-being of the animal itself. Please be sure you research the particular needs of the species you're bringing in. We have to model ethical and responsible care of living things. Forcing an animal to live in the wrong conditions is not acceptable. Make sure the animal gets the necessary amount of light, heat, as well as water, food, and even space. Another area to address is cleanliness or sanitation. Whether your classroom pet lives in a cage, an aquarium, or another living arrangement, it's essential that you create a routine that guarantees the pet is living in sanitary conditions. The animal's quarters should be cleaned and disinfected regularly, typically at least once a week, and fresh food, water, and bedding should be added as needed. This is to provide clean quarters for the animal, as well as to protect students from potential illness or infection. It's also essential that you establish a regular hand-washing routine for any students who handle the animals or any part of their habitat. You also need to consider principal permission. The administrators at your school need to be aware of any animals you bring in the classroom, and they need to approve of their presence. You should also consider parental notification. Parents should be notified prior to animals entering the classroom. There are many reasons a parent may need to know what kind of animals are in the room, including common allergens that come along with pet care. Asthma is a serious problem, and pet dander can easily be responsible for spurring attacks. Finally, you need to consider the student role. Depending upon the age and maturity of your students, the level of care the animal requires, and the hazards involved in handling the animal in its soiled habitat or bedding, and whether parental permission has been granted, you must carefully determine what the student's role will be in the care and handling of your class pets. With a little preparation and some established safe practices, animals can become an inspiring addition to your daily lessons.